Hello friends. Welcome back to Prohat IT Services. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn about Defender for Cloud. So let's see how we can enable or start with Defender for Cloud and secure our environment. To start with, let's go to the top menu and then click on Defender for Cloud. If you don't see Defender for Cloud out here in the menu, just go to the search bar and search for Defender for Cloud. Click on Defender for Cloud. When you open Defender for Cloud for the very first time, you will see screen like this. Uh, Microsoft is offering 30 days of free trial for Defender for Cloud. I'm using a free subscription. So here we can see that we have an option to upgrade our subscription. So when we enable Defender for Cloud, we can enable it for virtual machines. We can enable it for app services, databases, SQL on VMs, and storage and multiple other stuff. So we're gonna talk about most of these things in the future video. But to start with, let's upgrade our subscription. And out here, we already have the Log Analytics workspace. So subscription, uh, Defender for Cloud can be enabled for subscription and for the workspace. So let's select both of them and then click on Upgrade. Okay, so now when we have upgraded our Defender for Cloud, we can now see all these options are available. Before we click on Upgrade, all these options were grayed out, so we were not able to see that. And out here, we can see that the trial is successfully activated on one subscription. We only have one subscription available at this point of time. So let's click on Overview. So out here, we don't see any data. Reason, we have just enabled Defender for Cloud and it will take some time to review your subscription. It will check all the virtual machines or the databases that you have. And then by analyzing your subscription and by analyzing the resources, it will show you all the data over here. Now, for what all resources, we wanted to enable Defender for Cloud for that. We can go to environment settings. Out here, we can see the subscription that we have. Expand that, click on the Log Analytics workspace that we have created. And out here, we can see the Defender plan and it will show us that for what all features we can enable that. Now we can see that we have one virtual machine and we can see that server count over here. And we can also see that Defender for Cloud plan is already enabled or activated for our server and for SQL, but we don't have any SQL server on machines. We do have, do have SQL database, but we don't have any SQL server on Azure Virtual Machine. That's the reason we don't see any count over here, right? Now let's close this. Now, when we go to the security pusher, that is where we can see the security ranking, our security score. But as I have mentioned that it will take some time to analyze our subscription and analyze our resources. And then it will show us what all resources are healthy and what all resources are not healthy. Out here under recommendations, we can see all the recommendations that are given by Defender for Cloud. So we can see some of the recommendations populating over here. So take an example, this recommendation, it says that the internal facing virtual machine should be protected with network security group. So out here, we can see that it's already completed and it is showing as green because we already have network security group configured for our virtual machine. But let's give it some time. Let Defender for Cloud analyze our subscription and analyze all the resources. So once it is done, then we will see the exact status at what all recommendations we need to follow and what all changes that we need to make in our subscription to make it secure and healthy. 
So for this video, we'll just keep it short and simple. Hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Bye friends. Keep smiling. Have fun.